sauerkraut juice made from the red cabbage. We take that sauerkraut, we take that red cabbage, grind it up, we set it in a crock uh, for five days. We put an apple in there to absorb the acid that is going to be released. And when we uncover it, we have this sauerkraut, wonderful uh, cultured food. We take that sauerkraut and run it through a juice extractor and we get cabbage juice. Wow, you're talking a lot of friendly bacteria there. You know, we take that cabbage juice and we, we use it as a pickling source. So we put in the cabbage juice, we put cauliflower, we put cucumber, we put broccoli, we put beets and carrots and things like that, that, you know, you're going to use the cabbage juice now as the culture base to pickle, to ferment, you know, the other vegetables to increase the, 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 the digestibility of these vegetables, especially the cruciferous vegetables, because just eating them raw in their whole state, they, they have a, they're very high in sulfur and they're going to produce a lot of gas. So there's a little science to how we can work with these foods and, and, and uh, go beyond some of the inconveniences that we may experience from them, not knowing how to process them effectively. And that's why some of us just opt to just cooking them. You know, just steaming the cabbage, you know, uh, blanching the, the, the broccoli and steaming the cauliflower and things like that, you know, trying to neutralize, you know, that, that gaseous effect from the, uh, from the sulfur that are found in these foods. But in this live food culture that humanity is experiencing today, we can take these things and go beyond the ordinary with them and move them to a level where the body can really utilize them much more effectively without the inconveniences. You know, we have a very wonderful herb here, thyme. Thyme leaves, thyme is on our side. What we could do with thyme, the, the, the healing value of thyme. So all you need to do is in your juice, your soup, just put some thyme leaves in there and, you know, I mean, I can go through thousands of plant foods, but of course we don't have the, the, the luxury to do that in this short uh, presentation, you know. So you can do your research, you know, just go online and look up the medicinal value of thyme, you know. Look up the medicinal value of, of, of uh, basil, mmm, that aroma in basil, that aroma has some healing energy in it. You know, uh, look up the medicinal value of hot peppers. Now, this is a wonderful hot pepper here. This one is one of the. I mean, here let's 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 give you an idea what this looks like on the inside. Look at that with those black seeds. It's hot. It's not wicked spicy hot. But here in Peru, this is the rocoto, the vitamin C and the energy that you get from a hot pepper like this is just beyond reach. So here where we are uh, organizing for our presentation here, we're going to use this tomorrow in a soup. <laughs> you know, we're going to do an excellent tomato soup with some rocoto uh, in it. So experiment, you know, at your base with these types of food, with hot pepper. Great for the circulatory system. You know, so if you have, you know, uh, high cholesterol and stuff like that. You want to burst through that pipe, break down some of that dried uh, calcified starch from all of the cooked uh, carbohydrates, you know, that you've been eating. Put some hot pepper down in there. And also another thing you might want to put down that pipe is uh, some turmeric, fresh turmeric root. Hey, curcuma, this is it, man. You talking... Wow. I mean, the smell, the, the, the color, and all of these things. This is, this is a serious doctor here. <laughs> this is Dr. Root, as far as I'm concerned. And you could team that up with uh, a piece of the wonderful ginger. You know, kion, here they call it. Uh, enjibre in Spanish. Mm. Wow. A little bit of that uh, in your soup. Who needs anything else to heat up a soup? Here, 
Mr. Garlic. <laughs> look at that. Look, look at our shape. Look at that. That. Look at that. That. You know. That point. You know how that ball comes into. You know, a root vegetable with no starch in it, but it's a deodorizer, a disinfectant. Lots of garlic. You're talking about really clearing up the respiratory tract. You know, with things like garlic and ginger and onions and these types of things. You know. Mucus breaks mucus down, you know, just barrels it out, you know. So, hey, you know, I mean, as I say, this is this is a this is limitless here, you know. As we look further along with what we have brought to share with you here, you know, my goodness, you know, it's unspeakable what nature has to offer us. You know, we have these these wonderful berries here, and we're going to combine them. These are the gooseberries. We're combining them with avocados. Ay, ay, ay. You know, the power, you know, this friendly fat that is found in avocado. Lowers cholesterol. Look it up. Combined with gooseberries to make a goose guac. Guacamole with gooseberry. A goose guac. You know, hey, Wonderful combination. You don't need no lemons or anything else like that. I would just put a little tomato in here and some cilantro, and here I got, you know, the powerhouse of a healer. You know, you have this uh, great fat, you know, as opposed to, you know, the, the, the trans fats that we use, the, those saturated fats, those fats that have been hydrogenated, you know, the margarine and the, the mayonnaise and all of these vegetable oils, you know, that have been pumped up with hydrogen molecule that the body just cannot break down. Hey, this is your answer. Nature made it perfect for you. And it, has come, it comes to us through a food factory. The actual avocado tree is a factory. You know, where this one came from, there's at least 300 more came from the same tree. Look at that. That's, that's quite, a, quite an engin engineering you know, feat that nature has done to produce a tree, to create a tree that would produce Loads of these fruits every year, 40, 50, 60 years of just constant production with no working involved. And look at the magic that seals it. You take this fruit and you cut it in half and, you know, what you find in the middle? Another tree. An avocado seed. An avocado pit. This here is the making of another tree. So you imagine one tree yielding 300 more trees. My goodness, something is wrong <laughs> with the way the cards have been stacked up against us as human beings, as consumers. This planet should be overrun with medicine, with food like this. We should have more avocados rather than less. There should be no starvation on this planet. There should be no disease on this planet. If we follow the natural order of life and deal with our inbred, naturally, natural setup of orthomolecular nutrition. You know, you saw the papaya. Look at it again. You see those papaya seeds? I could see about 200 papaya seeds just here. And this is half of the one papaya. And each seed is another potential tree. Can you imagine? Can you imagine these tree foods? The power, you know, the power of tomato. You take a tomato and you see how much seeds are in that tomato. More tomato vines on the way. Why are we hungry? Why are we starving? You know, the varieties. Look at the variety here of this tomato here. This one is called a tree tomato or sacha tomate here in Peru. Look at that. I put this in, in, in my seasoning 
in a in a nut meat. I season a nut meat with this medicine, and I put some chives, chives, sacha tomate, uh, combined uh, in a dish with, uh, with with almonds. Imagine an almond nut meat with sacha tomate <laughs> and chives combined together with some. I would put piece of garlic in there. I would also put a piece of onion in there. I put a piece of celery in there. And here I have a great almond nut meat that very high in protein, rich in calcium, very filling, very nourishing, that I don't have to be concerned that I'm going to have an issue with cholesterol by eating this protein, by consuming the fat that is found in this protein. I don't have an issue with cholesterol by eating any of these foods that are found in my pharmacy today because these foods don't produce or they don't have cholesterol. I have one marvelous one here, the coconut. This is the mature coconut. We took the shell off, that brown hard shell that you're used to seeing, but this mature coconut, this coconut meat, wow, you're talking rich, great protein. We take this coconut meat, cut it up, run it through a juice extractor, and we get fresh coconut cream. Creme de la creme. There's no better cream than the fresh cream that comes from this coconut. So I use this instead of coconut oil. And this is where the, 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 that, that raw food community is really uh, mistreating our humanity. You know, selling you coconut oil rather than selling you on you going to the market and buying a coconut yourself and you buying a juicer and you juicing your coconut and you get fresh coconut oil. When you juice this coconut and that cream comes out without water, you're getting fresh coconut oil, lubricates the system. You get a great friendly fat, <laughs> unsaturated fat that the body can utilize, you know, and it also helps the body to produce friendly cholesterol as well. Wonderful food. You know, it's the processing that we're trying to avoid, you know, so to transfer that processing mentality from the corrupt food diets that we've been brought up with and to transfer that into the living food kingdom, we need to be careful. We need to serve humanity better than that. You know, so people, make your own coconut oil. Make it fresh. Make it in that fresh cream. And you're going to see you would not want to use any other fat in your diet you know, in terms of processed oils and things of that nature. That fresh coconut cream, the taste, the flavor. Oh, it knocks coconut oil out of the box, which is usually rancid most of the time anyway because of the way it's been processed and the way it's, uh, it's been, been, been packaged and sold to us. You know, here down in this corner of our table, we have a few also great goody, goody, goody stuff that helps the body on a totally different level. We have this here, which in Peru it is called uh, Rosa de Jamaica, or Sorrow, uh, Jamaica Rose here. Wow, vitamin C, we use that to make a drink with ginger, perfect combination. You know, we have these, these small little wicked hot peppers. You're talking some fireballs. These little miniature sunshines here are powerful fireballs. Get that circulatory system moving. So we put it in a juice. Wow. With cucumber, tomato, celery, beets, carrot, and a little piece of ginger. Wow. Bust up, <laughs> you know, the, the, the congestion, the clogging that's been you know, unbugging our system, this opens it up, you know, it opens it up. My favorite here, indispensable, the young coconut. 
the young coconut. The water from this young coconut is what we call agua viva, pure living water, as more electrolytes than any other food in its natural state. High source of minerals in an organic form. This water here is unbeatable, untouchable. And not only this water, but the water from all our plant foods, juices, juices, juices. When you're talking about orthomolecular nutrition, my supplementation is juices. So if there's something not happening in my diet, with my foods, you know, and it's lacking because it's grown on soil that is depleted and all of these other things, I just give myself a boost by drinking juice. You know, this is my booster. So I drink, you know, at least a good eight glasses of these a day, a half a gallon, you know, of juice, fruit juice, vegetable juice, coconut water. You can't juice enough, <laughs> you know, you can't juice enough. This is serious orthomolecular nutrition. Juices, 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 red juice, green juice, yellow juice, orange juice, purple juice, even black juice. You know, you could take that black rice, soak it, sprout it, blend it, wild rice, seaweeds. You could blend up your seaweeds in, say, some black sesame seed milk. Get the black sesame seed loaded with irons, calcium, proteins, and you name it. You know, blend that black sesame seed with some coconut water, press it out, get that milk, drop some seaweeds in there, blend that up. You're talking serious, serious energy, you know, loads of iodine, you know, lithium, lithium for the brain, lithium for the brain, you know, very powerful, very powerful mineral that you could produce yourself through your foods, pretty much all these other, all these minerals. We also have, from our bounty here in Peru, we have the lucuma, lucuma. A very powerful fruit, rich fruit, rich protein, a superfood. You have the cacao, you have the, the, the quinoa, you have the, the, the camu camu, you have maca, so much, so much. I mean, it's like here we have two different types of maca. These are the royal maca, one for the female, one for the male. The red one is for the female, the uh, black one or the the other maca is for the male. You're talking fertility. You're talking potency. Works on those organs. Really kick them up, you know, in a certain kind of way. Uh, this comes from a fruit. Noni juice. The noni is a cellular detoxifier. So to get the noni juice and put that in our system, gets toxins out of all of our cells. Here, this is another, this is, this is a little slim giant here. You know, let me open up the package so you can get a better look here, a better view of what we're talking about. You know, we'll take it out of our wrapper. It's very precious. This one little bean here, <laughs> This is a bean. It's a vanilla bean. The vanilla bean is an orchid. It's an orchid. The energy, the vibration in this, you're talking antioxidant to the max. You know, so you take that vanilla bean and you just slit it. Just just barely just cut it, you know, just barely just cut it open and scrape out in there those little black beans. That's the flavor. That's what we put in our nut milks, our pies, our cakes, cookies, and all of these things, rather than vanilla extract, vanilla flavoring, and things of that nature. You know, fresh, all the way fresh, totally live. This is what it's all about. So we're talking about a cuisine that I originated, which is known as sun-fired foods, or sun-fired Ra foods, R-A foods, you know, Ra stands for the sun in ancient Kemetic or Egyptian language, 
you know, raw foods mean foods that have been cooked by the sun. You know, here in Spanish we call it cocina del sol. The sun is our chef. Nature is our kitchen. You know, so the growing period is the cooking process. You know, so the time the food takes to grow in the field till the time we have a mature, ready to eat. You know, a perfect example is our planting. When that planting is ripe and ready, you are talking about well done, perfectly cooked, living food. So to actually do what many <laughs> ignorance, ignorant ones do, they fry it, bake it, boil it, steam it, beat it, pound it. They kill it, <laughs> thinking that they're improving on Mother Nature's work. The planting is ready to eat, perfectly done, cooked to creation. So we slice it up, marinate it with a little lemon juice, add some sliced coconut jelly to there. You can dehydrate the jelly, put a little seasoning on the coconut jelly, dehydrate it so it becomes a little crunchy, so it has that bake on, you know, vibration on it. Sprinkle that in with your plantain with some scallions and cilantro and, you know, chop up some seaweeds and put in there a uh, little coconut cream. Why not? You know, since we like plants and swimming in oil, let's swim it with some coconut cream. Drop a little curry powder in there and, hey, some lemon juice and you're good to go. You're talking about, you know, uh, what they may call here in Peru a ceviche. Ceviche de plátano, plantain ceviche, or escoviche, as you know it through the French, you know, vibration, escoviche plantain. So instead of having an escoviche fish, we escoviche the plantain. We put that seaweed in there so we get all that iodine that is great to offset the, uh, the effect of radiation. So if, you, if, if you're like hanging with the cell phone, the computer, the television, and all this stuff for too many hours every day, you need to counteract that it, the effect of that radiation. And nothing does it better than these algae, you know, seaweeds, especially the ones that are high in iodine. You know, the dulse is perfect for that. So, hey, you know. There's so much and so much and so much and so much that I can share with you. And, you know, my objective, though, is really just to be here with you for a short time to offer you these gems, you know, so that you can get your orthomolecular nutrition act together, you know, so that you can get your kitchen vibrating. Kick it up, turn it on, and turn it out. You know, get your appliances, your food processor, juicer, blender, dehydrator. We got that black box there in the corner. That's the dehydrator, food dehydrator. It takes moisture out. So you end up making pies and cakes and cookies and crackers and biscuits and breads. All of those comfort foods with the crunch you know, and the puff and the cushiony flavor uh, or texture that most of us look for when we go to breads and crackers and chips and cookies and those things that are really hurting us. You know, those processed foods with the trans fats in them and uh, all of the gluten, all of the cholesterol with the butter, the milk, the eggs, and not to speak of the refined processed sugar and these types of things, you know, and hey, the tons of chemicals that are in the foods. Be careful. You got to come home. So this is an invitation for you to come home. Come on home to self. Step up, you know, to living foods, you know. Uh, so there's a lot that this Semana de Alimentación Viva has to offer you, has to offer your family. It's a bounty of information, you know, 
and I try to make it practical for you. I am here to give you information that you could use right now. I am not here to sell you a product. I'm not here to sell you a package. I'm not here to sell you a solution in a drop. This is a big road. It's a long road. It's a steep hill. It's a big climb. But hey, you're never too late to start the walk. So get on it. Wherever you are, whatever you're doing, whatever you're thinking. As one of my great philosophers said, forwards ever, forward ever, and backwards never. The great Marcus Garvey from Jamaica proclaimed that, you know, as it applied to, you know, uh, the racial, cultural, you know, uh, ethnic, you know, uh, movement of the time to get African people to, you know, throw off the yoke, you know, of certain oppressive, you know, lifestyles or people. This is what we're looking for you to do today. Humanity. Throw off the yoke of the big cartels that hijacked our food basket. Throw off the yoke of the multi-mega nations, you know, multi-nation mega food companies that are just selling you processed, devitalized, packaged products that are only designed to make you sick and make them rich. So wake up, you mighty people. <laughs> you can accomplish what you will. You can accomplish what you will. Another great saying by Marcus Garvey, wake up, you mighty people. You can be healthy. You can be well. You don't have to be sick. Sickness is not a part of human nature. It's not a part of living. It is based on a system that perpetuates profit, greed, and subjugation. So let's throw all of this stuff off, get back to the land, grow your food, or support your local farmer who is growing for you since you are busy doing other things to support that local farmer in your community. You know, support that local farmer. Buy organic, eat organic, breathe organic, the air, the water, all of these things, these are basically part of our human rights. And there's no other way to defend yourself than to make sure you have clean, good, fresh food, air, and water. That way, you're not gonna get sick. It's not part of nature's plan. And if you do, nature has the medicine for you in your food. So your food is your medicine, and your medicine is your food, according to Imhotep, the first father of medicine, you know, who taught everyone else, you know, as he was the first one to observe that the blood circulates in the human body. He said, eat foods that are going to help promote the circulation of your blood. So it's all about eat, drink, and be merry. Because if your food don't bring you merriment, it ain't for you. You're eating the wrong thing. So wake up. This is a one-way street. Once you start to live this way and you start to eat this way and you just radiate, glow, and be well and healthy, you're gonna find that you can't go back. Because the minute you go back, those warning signals are gonna be smacking you. You'll be sneezing and coughing and all kinds of stuff going on when you start eating bad food. So we experienced that already in our lives, all the childhood diseases, all the colds, all the fevers, all the flus and all of these things, they were all part of the warning signal to let you know 
you're not eating right, you're putting garbage in your system, you're filling it up with waste. So now what we want to do, we want to address our system from the point of view of a orthomolecular nutrition scientist. We want to take our food and let them provide us what we need to heal the body, to strengthen the body, to rejuvenate the body, to vitalize the body so that we can live the optimum healthy life. So again, thanks so much for this wonderful opportunity to come home with you, share with you, and welcome you back home to self. I am Aris Latam, the sun-fired gourmet, the originator of sun-fired foods and paradise pie, recognized by the Oxford Encyclopedia as the father of ethical gourmet raw food cuisine. So visit me at sunfired.com and stay tuned to all the rest that is coming your way on Semana de Alimentación Viva. This is it. This is the channel. This is the medium. This is the vehicle that's going to help you to free yourself from disease. You really don't have to be sick. And I know that because based on all of my experience, I have realized that it's really not the food, <laughs> all of that food <laughs> in my life, but truly, it's really about the life in my food that nourishes. So if you want true nutrition, you got to keep it live. Living foods is the way to go. Alimentación viva. Aquí estamos otra vez con ustedes. Gracias por esta oportunidad de compartir la alimentación viva de la cocina del sol, the sun-fired foods. See you next time. Happy living, happy life, and a healthy life to you, the family, and your community. Peace.